Welcome, friends! Lost Cap here, and it's time for Professor Layton and the Lost Future. Let's continue. Last time, we were doing a thing. Nah, this one. There we go. I mean, we're in Chinatown now. Where is the Asians? The story so far. Layton and the others finally get entrance to Chinatown with the help of their parrot friend. Once inside, the group immediately set about investigating the area and its residents. All the while, the group moves closer to future Layton's base, the Towering Pagoda. Okay. So we've done this area, so we gotta move on. Oh, we haven't got in here. Let's see what's in here. Look at all these toys, Professor! Into the toys, are you, lad? I used to be, but I don't have much time for toys now that I'm older. Oh ho, but what about that toy car you're so fond of? I suppose you got me there, Professor. That car's just too mu much fun to put down. A toy car, you say? Let's have a look. Ah, yes. This is one of my creations. Really? Wow, that is so cool. <laughs> Thank you kindly. Here, yeah, since you're such a fan, I'll make you a special offer. If you can solve this puzzle of mine, I'll give you a special track for your toy car. A special track just for solving a puzzle? This is my lucky day! Alright, here we go. Paper cuts! Alright, what kind of puzzle this is? Wow. Two squares of paper, A and B, are shown below. Each piece of paper has been folded in half, and then... Folded in half again, as shown in the images. The dotted red line on the rightmost image of paper A shows where the cut will be made. Hmm. Your task is to cut paper B so that when you unfold it, the cutout shape in the middle matches the hole in the middle of paper B when it's unfolded. Draw the cut you need to make on the rightmost image of paper B. Alright, okay. Okay, let's see here. So, this was folded like that, and that. So, wouldn't it just be right here? Wouldn't that be it? It'd be this or be that. So, let me see. Let's try this first. Hmm. How about this? Okay, I'm a little off on the shape, but I know we're on the right I track guess here. Back to the drawing board. I'm not gonna grab paper to do this. I got this. I got this. Maybe. So, this might be too small right here. It might be this length, but let's try this. Here's my answer. I guess it's back to the drawing board. Because, okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's double check what this paper's making really quick here. So, A. You fold it up, the center is what's getting cut out. This is cutting the center out. And this is one, two, yeah, it's four layers. This is four layers, and this is four layers as well. Oh, it's making like a diamond pattern, isn't it? So wouldn't it be like this then? Maybe that's it. Hmm. How about this? Got it. Yeah, there you go. Took a minute. I knew it. You made the cut. As shown in the image above, both pieces of paper will have the same shape cut out of the middle when unfolded. Why not get a few pieces of paper and try it out for yourself? It's fun. No. <laughs> Good use of the gray matter, lad. Here's that track as, as promised. Thank you so much! <laughs> the name's Checker. By the way, feel free to drop by the shop for a browse of any time. I used three different voices on that guy. I was not consistent at all. And remember, lad, you're never too old to play with toys. I realized I was doing, uh, what's his- Oh, puzzle! There are too many toys to count in here. Imagine if you lived here, Luke. You'd never leave. 
Hey, look at that interesting cat ornament. It is curious. You know, it reminds me of a wonderful puzzle I heard the other day. You know, this puzzle reminds me of a putt 69. Oh, let's see how this one goes. A shopkeeper points at her exotic cat ornaments and says something strange. Ruby's next to Sapphire. Ebony is not white. Jade is not green. Sapphire is three over from Ebony. Ruby is on the end. So which cat is Pearl? Alright. Okay, Ruby is next to Sapphire. Sapphire is three over from Ebony. Ruby is on the end. Ebony is not white. Jade is not green. Three over. So, the three over from anything would be, like, there or there. Like, those are the three overs. So, Ruby and Sapphire need to be next to each other. The question is... Uh, okay, Ruby's on the end. So, Ruby is either here... Or here. Ebony is not white, so they're not this cat. They could be any of the other ones. They could be any of these. They could be any of these. Sapphire could be... Ruby's next to Sapphire. And Sapphire is three from Ebony. And Ruby's on the... Okay, so since Sapphire is three over from Ebony... And Ruby is next to Ebony. I mean, blah, 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 blah. Ruby is next to Sapphire. And Ruby's on the end. So that means this is Sapphire or this is Sapphire. That's what that means. Well, Ebony is not white. And Jade is not green. So the ones that can be Jade are these. These are Jades. So we can get rid of this part down here. The three over, it would have to be from the ends. So, wait, that would mean, okay, so if there are this one and this one, three over, one, two, three, which means this, that means Ebony has to be, because Ebony is not white, this one's Ebony. So we know that Ebony is right here. So the red one is Ebony. We know that much. And if Ebony's right here, that means Sapphire is right here, which means Ruby's right here, which means Jade's right here, which means Pearl is right there. Pearl's the green one. There we go. Done. Boop. Hmm. Hey, Dave, how you how doing? About this? Got it. Woo. No puzzle can stop Layton's apprentice. There we go. Yep. Ebony, Jade, Pearl, Sapphire, Ruby. Why would you not name them their colors? Good, uh, good thinking. The green cat is called Pearl. The shopkeeper named each ornament after a precious material of a different color. She would appear to be a bit eccentric. Very. Yeah. That's 100% correct smashing work, my boy. You know, despite this toy shop being here, I haven't seen that many children around town. Does everyone play indoors in the future? Maybe so, Luke. Look for more pu- oh, we got a coin. Alright, another one. Uh... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Forgive my apathy, but unlike little Luke here, I am not a child. Okay. Another coin. <laughs> really, Layton? This rocking horse is re really rather handsome, I must say. Okay, let's go ahead and do the thingies. Okay, let's see here. The he gave us a track. Let's check out the new track. Seven. Let's do it. Let's do it. Treasure Island. Here we go. Uh, hmm. The only way to go is down. So, oh, uh, this is gonna be tricky. All right.
That's it. Yeah, there you go. Right there. All right. Yeah. Huh. What's the jump for? For fun? And for fun jump. There we go. Let's see if I did this correct. Okay, here we go. Go. Ding, 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 ding. We got it! Sweet! Treasure Island! I wonder what the jump is for, bunk. We did it! Congratulations, you have completed Treasure Island. Okay, so... Parrot puzzle. I forgot about that. A friend of Forveed. Oh, kill me! Alright, okay. That's it. I cannot believe it. There's the answer. Boing. Son of a beach. Ah. Uh. Darn it. I just no. I don't get it. I don't. I don't get him. That pay for me? What? You're not my pet, but it's great to talk to you all the same. Mr. Power, bye-bye for now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, uh, Alright, well, I am bad at puzzles. I'm, I'm bad at those puzzles. Definitely bad at those puzzles. Move on. That's 75 puzzles now. That's pretty good. You're getting closer to the end, then. What's this? Oh, boy. I forgot how this got... Uh, well, well, look who we have here. We met on... <laughs> we met you on our way to the Gilded Cassette... Ah. We met you on the way to the Gilded Seven Casino, did we not? Hmm, <laughs> nice to see that I made an impression. Let me guess, you don't want to let us through. Hmm, <laughs> no need for that atti attitude. It's my job to keep out people who've got no business being here. You can't fault a fellow for trying to make a living, can you? Perhaps not, but we do have business here. We've come to meet the man who calls himself Leighton. Hm. <clears throat> well, I appreciate your honesty. Nevertheless, I'm afraid I simply cannot let you pass. Why is that? We've stated our business. Because my employer, Mr. Leighton, is out at, at, out at the moment. Which means you have no reason to enter the building. You're quite sure he's not in the Tower in Pagoda. I didn't just- I didn't just lie to you, if that's what you're insinuating. The boss has left the building. He's away. Gone. Not here. Where could he possibly have gone? Well, we know where he isn't. In the town Pagoda. Professor, I propose we do some sleuthing. I'm sure we can track this other Leighton down. I agree. Let's ask some of the people in the area if they've seen my elusive counterpart. Gotta be a secret puzzle somewhere. There it is, the pagoda itself. What an unusual building. It's like it's it has a little family of roofs. Yes, this style of architecture became popular after your time. When China took over London. But that's why it seems so strange to me. You know, your comment about the roofs being like a family reminds me of a puzzle I once heard. Would you like to try it? Even and do you even need to ask? No. Oh, here we go. The third youngest. Alright. Ten close brothers and sisters live together. Now, Luke, let's imagine that you're the eighth child. The oldest daughter is the second son's youngest, younger sister. And the third son's older sister. The fourth son is the second daughter's older brother and the oldest daughter's younger brother. There are no boys in between the third and fourth daughters. Is a third child from the bottom a boy or a girl? I can't tell just from this. 
Let's tell Luke the answer in secret. Um... The third from the bottom is 10, 9, 8. So, Luke. The third from the bottom is Luke. So, it's a boy! This one's as good as solved. They also made it blue, by the way. <laughs> no puzzle can stop Layton's apprentice. That's right, it's a boy. I told you at the beginning, Luke. Let's imagine that you're the eighth child. My question was asking about the third child from the bottom, or in other words, the eighth oldest child. That eighth child was you, Luke, and I know better than anyone that you're a boy. In this gendered society. <laughs> the third youngest. Wonderful, of course, I expected nothing less from myself. <laughs> no, should you? No puzzle's a match for Professor Layton's apprentice after all. Okay, that was a puzzle. Alright. The third youngest is the eighth oldest. He mentioned the Molentary Express. Uh, where would we train? Hold on a moment, I think there's still valuable information to be found in Chinatown. I wanted to look for a puzzle. No puzzles here. Don't. No puzzles here, huh? Did not expect there to be a lack of puzzles. Yep. Right, here's the thing. Did we just cause a uh, a paradox or whatever? Layton, I mean, Luke learned a puzzle from himself from the future. So does that mean he's the source of his own, of that puzzle? Tisk, some people have no respect for others. What seems to be the matter? Just look at this wall of mine. Someone has splodged paint all over it. I'm sure the little miscreant who did this is it is only having a laugh. But I'm the one who has to clean it up. Hmm, that paint's completely dry. It looks like it would be really hard to skip it out. I suppose I'll just have to paint over it this mess. While we're on the subject of painting, I might as well ask. You ever heard this puzzle? Well, well paint dry. This old brick wall has been decorated with an unusual design. Five different shapes have been painted on a white background as, a sh as shown. Just by looking at the picture, you should be able to tell which color of paint was used the most. So which one was it? Touch the tin of paint that was used the most. Alright. Just look at the number of bricks. The answer is white, by the way. <laughs> hmm. How about this? Done. There's a white paint thing right there. The puzzle can stop Layton's apprentice. That's right, the white. The white background used the most paint, without a doubt. Trying to trick you! Good thinking, and you know what? Your clever thinking has given me a brilliant idea of my own. Just put white on everything? Ah, oh, what's that? If I just paint the wall white again, I'm practically asking for it to be covered in graffiti. Maybe I should get someone to come by and paint an offensive mural on it instead. I mean, a white wall is one thing, but you'd have to be, be a real lout to graffiti a nice mural. That sounds like a good idea. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty excited about it myself. Any more puzzles? No. This painted wall reminds me of a puzzle. Alright, moving on, let's go. I've got big plans for this wall. I'm going to get someone to paint something amazing on here. Oh, by the way, I don't think I introduced myself before. My name's Slate. Nice to meet you. Hi! wonder if Slate's gonna be important. Hello there, Mr. Gentleman. How are you doing? How are things? That's it. What's up, fellas? We went to see the man in the town pagoda, but he was out. Do you know where he might, might be? I've got a pretty good idea, but I'm not telling. He's dangerous, and you don't want to tag it with him. Come um, now, surely there's no harm in letting us know where he might be. You're wrong there, but I suppose I can tell you what I've heard. It's just a rumor, though. 
You sure you want to know this? I'm telling you, this fell is bad news. Proper bad. We can handle it. What have you heard? People say this guy's himself and goes walking around town. He could be standing right next to us. Now we wouldn't even know it. Scary stuff, huh? Actually, I'm getting spooked myself, so let's end this little chat, okay? Ladies. He could be anyone. He could be anyone. How do you figure out who he is, then? Could he be the fake Layton that we saw? He could be one of these guys? Uh, the bus can be Anyway, you ain't never gonna find him in a spit and sawdust place like this. He's a classy fella. Why is he telling us where the boss is? Hey, the boss? Look, I'm here because I don't want to think about the boss. I don't have to. All right. There we go. There we go. Welcome to Pepper's Noodle Palace. Well, it be, Jinx. We're not here to eat, I'm afraid. We just want to ask you a few questions about the fellow who runs the Towering Pagoda. You mean I really can't interest you in a body? Uh, well, all right, now. What were you saying? We'd like to meet the man who runs the Tower and Pagoda, but he seems to be out at the moment. Has he come by your restaurant by any chance? I don't think so. I mean, I don't even know what he looks like. But his lack has come by here to slack off on a daily basis. Several table manners you've got, too. They've got to. I'm thinking of it, you're probably mean... That probably means the man you're looking for never comes in here. I mean, would you go skeeving off? In a place where the boss could burst in in a moment? You make a good point. That's very astute of you. Flattery is nice, but if you really want to say thanks, order some food next time you come in, okay? Okay. Leaving. I bet now we gotta go to the side area. Now we gotta go to the side area. Yup. Avogadro? Uh, do you have a number? Make way, make way. Coming through. I'm in a hurry here. I've got to get, get back. Goodness, that little man saddled me. Who would have thought such short legs could move so quickly? Did you see how he raced out of the shop? He was really sprinting, wasn't he? I can't have... It can't have been easy in those wet shoes and trousers of his. He was carrying two armfuls of books to boot. He must be a, a big customer here. If the lady behind the counter can tell us something about him. Also, his name was Avogadro, by the way. Oh my god, I don't remember the voice I gave Maya. Oh my god, her name's Maya. Oh my god. Well, I already used Maya for floor. Please meet you. Hello there. Can I help you find something? Actually, I was hoping you could tell us about the man who rushed out of your shop just now. Oh, that's Dr. Avogadro. He's got a number. He's always in a hurry. It was very... It was very strange. His trousers and shoes were absolutely soaked. That's how it always is. I suppose I'm just used to it now. He sneaks away from work to come and browse through our new books. You know how absent-minded geniuses can be. I'm sure he doesn't even notice puddles in the road. Or maybe he likes to go fishing on his breaks. Perhaps so. He always bursts in, buys a new few books, and dashes out. Without so much as a word. This lady doesn't have any puzzles? Doesn't have any puzzles. I'm surprised with the lack of puzzles. Alright, moving out, pulling out. Oh, there he is. <laughs> what, what, what is it? Hmm, what do you want? Can't you see I'm in a hurry here? Oh, look. I think you've upset him. You can't just go running up to strangers and expect them to chat to you, you know? I can't have a flaw. How else are we supposed to find these for our investigation? But some people really don't like talking to strangers, you... Look, if you two are just going to stand there squabbling, will you at least get out of my way? I'm not pleased to be, and I could do without your obstruction, obstruct obstructing me. Oh, but you can't keep running around like that. Hmm, like what? With your trousers and shoes all tripping wet, it must be awfully un uncomfortable. It will be time for drying off later. I have to go now. Enjoy your little row. Dad, he's gone. You might have stayed if you hadn't got off on the wrong foot. You can hardly blame me on that. Really? Alright. Hey, 
Is it this guy? Because I swear to God if it's this guy. Hello there. Uh, good day, miss. My name's Edgar. I, it's not as lovely to meet you. Hi, Edgar. Uh, it's you. It's nice to see you again. You were using that girl as a d d decoy to lure me out of hiding. I knew it. I knew something was up when she started chatting to me out of the b, -b blue. Why on why oh why did I stop to talk to her? Now you've got me right where you want me. I'm getting out of he here. Whatever I did to get on that man fellow's bad side. <laughs> Whatever did I do to get on the fellow's bad side? I haven't got a clue, Lou, Professor. He was nice. Is he a friend of yours, Luke? I wish I could say that, but I can't even get him to stop uh, counting in fear. Hello. I'm out of voices for ladies. Uh, hello there, my name's Paige. What's yours? I'm Flora. How do you do, Paige? Not so well, I'm afraid. I've had this puzzle in my mind for days, and it's got me positively stumped. I know we just met, and this is uh, terribly uh, forward to me, but would you mind having a look at this puzzle? I'm getting nasalier. The chick's shadow. Ah, uh, here we go. This is a latengram. Fill in the little bird silhouette using the five pieces in Layton's top hat without overlapping the pieces or leaving an empty space. You can flip pieces if needed. So what can go here is the question. What can go in this spot? First question is, what can fit here? The only thing that can fit there is this. Or this. But let's say it's that. Okay, so how about... Flip it. Um, what makes the duck's head, right? It's got to be this that makes the ducky head, right? Let's see here. Put that there. You got to put the two here. Let's say that's that. So where would this go? There. And then, oh, look at that. We're done. Huh. Well, that was easy. Huh. Hmm. Does this sound right? Yeah. Puzzle. <laughs> well then, these chicks are so tiny, they can't even fly yet. Yay. Gosh, you must have some sort of super brain to solve a puzzle like that so easily. Well, I try after all. Brains are something no true lady can afford to be without. Book three and... Uh-oh, uh, parrot, parrot, parrot. Ah! Ah! Anyway, let's go. Oh, we missed one. Oh, balls. All right, let's do it. Scatterbrain page. Three ropes. We can do this. I got that. They okay, start there, then what? Could it just be this, and then we're done? Let's see. Oh, it overshoots. Oh, it can't be that. What was this? Oh, it's too slow a trip, isn't it? Yeah, it's too slow a trip. So what if it's this? Overshoots again! Ugh. And that overshoots as well. Uh huh. Here. Do his doom. Okay, so that's not it. A different angle. Well, we do this. All right. Okay. Okay. There's that. What 
we do this? Jack on, that's what that does. Okay, um, hmm. What will this do? I'm curious. Ah, uh, 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 no, 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 no. Coises! What about this? Almost. That's not gonna do anything. Hmm. It never fit. All right. Okay. I can't solve it. Let's just look for the answer. That's the solution. Son of a. Oh my god! I suck at that. All right. Here's the solution right here. How is that the solution? Bong 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 bong. Son of a bitch. Okay. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Alright. Oh, thank you, Pellet. I was, it was, I was completely at a loss there. What? I can hand this ain't homeworking now. Thanks again, Pellet. I'll be more careful with my things next time. Careful, careful. And from doing that, I saw who number seven is. So now we gotta try to figure out how to do a puzzle for number seven. Oh, we're doing this instead first. But look who it is. Does anything about this room strike you as familiar, Luke? Familiar? Actually, now you mention it. Alright. There's a bee. Ah, oh, yes, I do have some memory of this room. Oh, this is an awfully big sign for such a small bee. What's the matter? Well, you know, even a honeybee can, like myself, gets a little down to dumps every now and then. It must be awfully hard looking after all those puzzles being, you know, a bee. What puzzles? We've done all of them. Oh, that, no, that's a piece of cake, kid. My problem is that I'm a different from all the other bees. You can say that again. What's your story anyway, Beasley? Oh, so you want to hear about me, do you then? No, sure, I don't. All right. No, it's I don't. The ripping tale of a lonely drone's triumph over adversity to become a puzzle bee. I'm talking. Gotcha. No, oh! that's better. Bugs are so very icky, don't you think? You really can't slap them enough. Oh, stop doing that. I think he's had enough slapping for one day. He's dead. Now, how are we supposed to solve all those puzzles that we left behind? Oh, no worries there, my fellow puzzle aficionado. Taking care of puzzles is my job now. Granny's put me in charge, so just leave it to me. Granny who? Oh, right, of course. So then you'll... That's right. You can call me Puzzlet, because oh my that's God. my name. Hope to see ya soon, soon, soon. So, we got this annoying bee that was just worthless. And she just... She just murders the bee. It's like they knew no one cared for the bee. It's kind of weird. Like they knew. It's like they knew. It's like they knew. This chick is crazy. Can you hear all those poor puzzles crying, Solve me! Solve me! You'd be a monster not to help them. I feel like she's... I feel like she's the voice of Charlie Brown's younger sister. Not Sally, is it? Is it Sally? I can picture her saying Sweet Baboo. I could easily picture her saying that. But we found every puzzle so far, so we haven't had to worry about it. You should definitely solve them when you get a chance, though. It hurts their feelings if you don't. Oh my god. Speaking of that, I really want to see the Charlie Brown movie again, but it's never on Netflix. Was there just a hint coin there? I do wonder where these bits of theater set came from. There was just a coin? There wasn't a... Puzzle? Uh, okay. She murdered that bee. She murdered that. So that's probably the place to go, but. Go in here. Apparently, her has a puzzle. 
that is the seventh parrot puzzle. The, the she leaves the seventh parrot, but thing. But I don't know how you're supposed to help her with the puzzle if she doesn't want you to give help her with the puzzle. I don't understand. I assume Layton's in here, by the way. He's in here. I am wrong. This is a pet store. <laughs> Well, I was to talk to in these cages. Well, I've never seen a tortoise this big before. Oh, look, there are fish tanks here as well. All right. A pallet probably doesn't need one of these. Oh, yeah, they're good. No, talk to the lady. What? Oh, what a lovely parrot. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Apollo. Apollo. Oh my, clever and polite. Well, Apollo, my name's Myrtle. Hello, Myrtle. Nice to meet you. This is my, your pet shop? Pet shop? Oh, no, 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 young fellow. This is no pet shop. It's a meeting place where animals can find true friends. Like you and Apollo, eh? You can say that again. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. My name's Luke. <laughs> well, it's nice, very nice to meet you too, Luke. You and Apollo play nicely together now, all right? What? Get lost, get lost! And now's not the time for that, Apollo! Does it have a puzzle? <laughs> it does warm my heart to see such genuine friends. Friendship. Really, no puzzle, huh? I did not expect that, so where the hell is Leighton at? Where the b owls is leading? Is it this guy? Probably not. Good day, Winter Sounds. You get into a pagoda? Unfortunately, not. He was out here. He was out when we visited. We are still trying to locate him. Oh, well, you're wasting your time searching for him in this part of town. Does that mean you know where we can find him? Ho oh, ho ho, I've said too much. I can be so careless at times. What do you do now? Please tell us where he is, it's very important. I said it once and I'll say it again, lad. I... I like how forthright you are. So I suppose I could drop a potentially helpful hint your way, one condition that is. What condition? Run over and tell my darling wife that I'll be eating out for lunch today. Do that and I'll gladly help you. But we don't know who she is or where to find her. Oh, she's easy to find, my Myrtle. It runs a pet shop on the edge of... God dang it, of course! It runs a pet shop on the edge of the Chinatown. It shouldn't take you long to find it. Very well. We'll deliver the message to your wife and return immediately. You're kidding me! I should have talked to this old man earlier. I should have talked to that old man earlier. This is my fault for not talking to him earlier. The pet shop's just over there. You don't say! That shop we were- oh god, we're over on time. Okay, so, that right there is the game for now. Next time we will go see Myrtle with her pet turtle. Uh, that rhymes. Mm. So there you go, that right there is the game for now. I had fun of them Yeah, I had fun, hope you had fun watching, and that's what's all about, isn't it? Having fun. Thanks for coming by, and see you next time. Yeah.